Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mandy. How was your Valentine's Day? Good, I hope. <laughs> Valentine's Day is such a weird holiday because there's so many different ways for individuals to spend it. Obviously, there's the time with somebody and then there's the time alone. I think I've gone through almost every scenario. I've spent it with someone. I've also spent it alone where I've pampered myself. I've gone shopping. <laughs> I've also spent it hating life. So <laughs> I think that's just a rite of passage for every female that endures Valentine's Day. I think you gotta go through all of them. I think you need to hit every single one of those ways to spend Valentine's Day. So I know that this is coming out the day after Valentine's Day and for some of you you're probably like I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's over. I personally want to send you one of these. This is something that my mother sent me. It's a chocolate man and it is the perfect man because he's sweet and decadently rich just how a man ought to be. Thanks mom. I haven't broken into this yet. Oh I think his neck is broken. He's already dead. My bad, his neck is already slit. That's morbid. Anyways, reflecting on Valentine's Day and how you should spend it, whether you're with somebody or not, I felt this was a good opportunity to talk about something that has always been very important to me, having a fantastic relationship with yourself. I know people always say, eat really healthy, take care of your skin, take care of your body because it's the only one you have for the rest of your life. I feel that people fail to also mention that you are also in a relationship with yourself for the rest of your life. Everyone always says you need to love yourself before you love somebody else. And I think that that is just so important. That is something that I really value, especially being on a ship where I've learned a lot about myself, but it's also been a really, really great experience. So with that said, I feel like I'm doing this a lot. Let us pray. I've read a ton of different articles about how to have a good relationship with yourself and what is important when having a good relationship and all of that jazz. I picked my very favorite ones and I've also included some that have been very valuable to me and that have helped me grow into the person that I am today. So jumping right into this, the first thing you need to stop doing is nitpicking at yourself. Obviously it's not okay when somebody else nitpicks at you and is making you feel bad all the time and bringing you down. Doing it to yourself is no different and that is the most important relationship to have is an encouraging one when you make yourself feel confident and you make yourself feel good, you feel good. Like it's very self-explanatory. All you have to do is worry about making yourself happy and I'm pretty sure that's fairly easy to do. So the second thing is taking a break from dating. So if you're like me and you've been boy crazy since you came out of the womb, that might be a little bit hard for you. Dating was fun and my dad has always told me dating allows you to learn a lot about yourself and also about the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, which I think is so important. But if you feel like you are losing yourself so much in your relationships, then maybe it is time to take a little bit of a break. Just take the time to focus on yourself and do the things that make you happy without having to please anybody else. Okay, this goes back to treating your body right and that's exercise. I don't know what my deal is. Me personally, I go in and out of exercise regimens and I always forget how great I feel after working out. I love to run. Hold on, thank it. I used to hate running in soccer. Now I love running all the time and I feel so much better and great and revitalized and happy because exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy and happy people just don't shoot their husbands. Make sure you guys put in the comments below what movie that quote is from. I know that I probably sound like a broken record, but exercising really does boost your energy, it makes you feel happier, and gives you a lot more confidence in your body. So this was a fun idea that I found, and it is prioritizing what you want to do. List them down, put them in priority from one to 10, and then do them by the end of the week or by the end of the month. Doing those things that make you happy will just make you feel better all around. Reading a good book. I love books just because I feel like they can transport me to a completely different world, take my mind off of the real world or what is happening in my life. I love it so much. I love to read. Now I know that that's not for everybody. I know from experience that books can change your life and they can bring new ideas, make you really think about life in general, what you like, what you don't like, and really spark different kind of conversations. It's a really great way to get to know yourself. Drinking less. Now, I had a great time in college and yes, I would go out all night partying and drinking and having a good time with my friends. That kind of lifestyle no longer fits the goals and aspirations that I have for myself. I I hate more than anything waking up hungover the next day and feeling useless and I've just wasted an entire day. I feel if you were to gear that focus and that attention towards other things in your life, you get so much more done other than just feeling hungover all the time. Learn to enjoy alone time. I didn't realize how much I value my alone time until I got on ships and you don't really know until you were constantly around people and I found that I need my alone time. I need time to decompress from all of the 
the energy that I just endured the entire day. Now I understand that facing time alone can be very intimidating, especially if you're just not feeling very confident in yourself. To fill up that alone time, go back to that priority list that we talked about earlier and go through the things and spend some really good quality time with you. Also going with the exercise point is to eat healthy. Again, you have this body for the rest of your life and you need to make sure that you take care of it because it's the only one you have. So making sure that you eat healthy and exercise is obviously an essential, but you feel so much better after you eat healthy, good food. Investing in your career. So recently I have found a love for making videos and doing YouTube and I adore it. Now I love performing, I love being a singer, I love being on stage, that has always been ingrained in me, but finding this new hobby and this new career path maybe has been really, really exciting for me and I've really loved it and it's brought a lot of joy to my life. So when you work hard and invest in your career wholeheartedly, the rewards will be abundant. I am a full believer in this next one, go shopping. Retail therapy is everything. Buying clothes that fit really well can do wonders for your self-esteem and I think everybody should do it. Next is to meditate. This can go into that time spent alone. For some people it is literal meditation, yoga, or taking a walk. For me it takes the form of having alone time with God, reading the Bible, reading my daily devotion. That's something that is just so important and it puts me in the right frame of mind for the rest of the day. So if you do it in the morning it just really sets you up for a great day or at the end of the day as well really calms you down and gets you ready for a good night's sleep taking care of your appearance now I am all about this I love me some makeup I love me some skincare I love me some hair stuff I love it all I love it so much I love the way makeup makes me feel I love putting it on I love trying new techniques and new colors and new looks whatever it is I love makeup I love what it does it transforms you it really gives you like that boost of confidence it does wonders for your self-esteem but taking that time for yourself to pamper yourself in the morning or at night or whatever time it may be really can do wonders for your self-esteem just like those clothes that make Make you feel great or the exercising all of these things really play a part in boosting your self-confidence and that's it that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this Mondays with Mandy episode as much as I did making it for you if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click this button right here so you don't miss out on any of the fun videos I have coming on my channel very soon you can also find me on all of my social media Facebook Instagram snapchat Twitter and my website that is all linked down below for you guys to check out if you guys didn't already know I am currently in Asia and I am blogging a ton so make sure you go to my website and check out those blogs right now I mean like after this video but like right now after this video I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day and I'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys Why can't I speak? Did your person that? Shut up, phone. Let's try that again. Ow! I just smacked my finger. Okay. Okay.